Well, hello everyone. Today, I want to start by asking you a question. Have you ever broken something before? Maybe a lamp or a window or something like that while you were playing. How did you feel? Since it was probably an accident and since your parents probably weren't happy, you might have felt pretty bad. But then imagine that your parents were able to fix whatever it was that you broke and they forgave you. You'd feel better and then you'd also be more careful next time so that it didn't happen again. Well, in our scripture passage for today, something kind of similar has happened, but there are also some differences. You see, God's people had also broken something, but it wasn't a lamp or a window. Instead, they had broken their promises and their relationship with God. And there was an even bigger problem. They kept doing it again and again. Every time they broke their promises to God, God would fix it and forgive them, but then they just do it again right away and they wouldn't even be sorry about it. So in our scripture passage for today, God says that he is going to do something different. God isn't going to keep fixing those old agreements and promises that God's people kept breaking. Instead, God is going to make a fresh, brand new agreement and relationship with his people. And in this new covenant, God is going to help his people to know and love him better and take away all of our sins and brokenness forever. And that's exactly what God does for us through Jesus. Because of Jesus, we get a new relationship with God that fixes everything about us that's broken once and for all. It's like God gives us a new heart with God's Holy Spirit inside so that we can love and serve God and others the way that we're supposed to. And best of all, this new relationship with God can never be broken because it's all about God's promises to us and not about our promises to God. And I hope that helps you understand our scripture passage just a little bit better. Goodbye, everyone.